Today on Redneck Ramblings, we are going to sample a Night in Tallinn, a Baltic Porter from Von Ebert Brewing. Stay tuned. Hi, thanks for tuning in. Today we have another beer that was sent to me. This is a Night in Tallinn. It is a Baltic Porter from Von Ebert Brewing. This uh, 7.4% ABV, it, they show it as a decocted for flavor, which I believe is a, uh, um, decocted is to uh, boil it down, basically, to extract the flavor or to uh, bring out the flavor. All right. Oh, we got a nice dark beer here. Beautiful head on this beer. Don't know much about it. Interesting can. And we have overflow. Oh, yeah. Let's try it. Mmm. On the nose, you can smell those grains. There's a... Uh, it has kind of a... Almost a citrusy, interesting, almost kind of a citrusy nose to it. Oh, you can taste those chocolatey grains in it too. You can taste those chocolatey malts in there. Wow. Porters are the, uh, are very similar to a stout. They have the, uh, they're made with the chocolatey, uh, the dark malts, chocolatey malts, coffee malts, stuff like that. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Very smooth, creamy mouthfeel. 7.4% ABV. It's not boozy. But it has a, uh, it has a flavor there that go along with that uh, that aroma. They're almost kind of a it is almost kind of a citrusy type of uh, a flavor there with these malts. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. This is another one of these beers that if I had two, I'd probably drink two, but I don't. Uh, see if there's anything else on here you might want to look at. Baltic Porter. There's the uh, brewery's name. Um, Tallinn, by the way, I think is the... Uh, um, it's a Baltic Porter. The Tallinn is the capital of Estonia, I believe, over in the Baltic regions, Eastern Europe. Hmm. That's pretty good. It's got a very interesting flavor to it. Because you can see, you can see you can smell and you can taste those uh, those dark grains those dark malts, mmm. But it has almost a uh, citrusy type flavor to it. Say hello to my kitty. Let's see what we're doing. Lucky for me, she does not like beer. Oh, that's pretty good. Like I said, it definitely has that. Uh, it definitely has a citrusy type note in here. And I like that. It's different. It is not your regular, uh, it is not just a regular porter. It does not taste like a regular porter or a stout for that matter. Nice creamy mouthfeel. Mmm. It's good. It's got a sweetness to it. Especially on the back end, it's got a nice, sweet, lingering flavor there. But you can definitely taste those uh, those dark malts, those chocolatey malts. With that, um, I, I don't know how else really to describe it other than a citrusy type uh, hit in there. That's really good. And I don't normally get that with a uh, with a stout or a porter. Mm, that's it. That's good. I'll give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in trying it, if you see it, get it. 
I could not see it to buy it. Thankful that somebody sent it to me. If I had no, if I had another one, I'd drink another one. It's really good. I like it. It is Redneck approved. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up down below. Click on that subscribe button. My email address will be right up there. Until next time, thank you. You have a good night.